Staffordshire Bull Terrier Staffordshire Bull Terrier was developed by crossing the Bulldogs with the ancestors of the Manchester Terrier. It came into existence in the 19th century in the region of Staffordshire, England which later became the inspiration behind their name. Staffy was developed for the then popular sport of bull baiting. The breed's popularity waned as interest in the sport waned. Then, in the 20th century, interest in the breed grew again, especially in the US it returned to the show ring in 1935. The breed is often confused with their cousins the American Staffordshire Terrier. Staffy is not a dog for every family, but in the hands of a dominant, experienced owner it can be a successful pet and family guardian. As always, the pros are up first. Unlimited love, respect, and devotion to its owner is, of course, an indisputable dignity of a dog, but it is formed through careful training. Their grooming needs are minimal and are very kind and gentle with small kids. The pluses include love for children since these powerful four-legged are very kind to babies and take care of babies like real nannies. They are kind pals who want nothing more in life than to be around their humans, whether in a tiny one-bedroom apartment or a 40-room mansion. They make excellent watchdog. They will bark to make you aware of the approaching stranger. This breed is generally very friendly and warm with the strangers as they love to meet new people. They adore humans and make excellent therapy dogs. Anyone who needs a loving companion can't go wrong with a staffy. They are decent at guarding their home and property. Now it's time for some cons. The stubbornness of character is also considered a disadvantage, because of this trait, many difficulties arise during training. Staffy easily overheat and detest weather extremes. If you live in a hot, humid region, strongly consider another breed. If another dog attacks a Staffy, their pit bull breed instinct may kick in, and they won't back down. Gardeners beware, due to their terrier roots, some Staffies like to dig. Despite popular belief, do not make good guard or watchdogs and not amenable to outside living. High exercise requirements and may be aggressive towards other pets. Even though they possess many natural talents and skills, one thing Staffies are not known for is swimming. Staffy is not recommended for a timid or first-time owner. This breed needs a confident trainer who is consistent and firm but also living. Interesting Facts Steve Irwin had a Staffy named Suai, who would accompany him on trips and was seen in several episodes of The Crocodile Hunter. Vin Diesel has long been a fan of the breed, having owned several in his life. Appearance Their medium-length tail is carried low and should not curl. They can have rose or half-priced ears, but full drop or full pricked ears are a severe fault. Dark eyes are preferable but their eyes may also bear some relation to the dog's coat coloration. Male staffies can weigh anywhere from 28 to 38 pounds while females are 24 to 34 pounds. Both genders usually stand 14 to 16 inches, 36 to 41 centimeters, at the shoulder. Red, fawn, white, blue, and black are all common colors. White markings are also considered normal, even in brindle staffies. Black and tan and liver colors are not part of the breed standard, meaning they would be disqualified from the show ring. The average healthy staffy lifespan will be around 12 to 14 years. Shedding and grooming, staffy sheds a moderate amount and cannot be described as hypoallergenic. However, they shed heavily once a year in either fall or spring time. Staffies are relatively low maintenance on the grooming side. A weekly brush with a grooming glove or bristle brush helps to keep them smooth and looking their best. Ideally, the staffies should be washed four times a year. Their natural oils look after their coat during this time. Their coat can be left to air dry. Nails will need a monthly trim to prevent overgrowth. Ears will be needed to be checked and cleaned to prevent debris buildup within the canal. Teeth should be brushed a minimum of three times a week although vets recommend this is done daily. Cost, the average price of a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy in India is around 50,000 to 70,000 rupees. On average, a Staffy puppy will cost $2,000 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $975 and $2,500. For a puppy that is descended from champion dogs you can expect upwards of $2,000 or more. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, 
and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability. Each day, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier will need one hour of exercise. This breed is prone to weight gain so it is important their daily exercise needs are being met. It is important owners have the time, patience, and consistency to allow the Staffy to blossom into a well-natured companion. It is best to focus on rewards as opposed to discipline. Harsh training methods could see the Staffy withdraw from their training. Instead, correct every single good behavior with a treat such as food or affection. Discipline bad behavior with a firm no, timeouts, and by simply ignoring them. Ensure a Staffy is introduced to a variety of new places, people, and animals consistently during their early years. Intelligence According to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Staffordshire Bull Terrier is ranked 49. Understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obeys first command 50% of the time or better. Swimming If you were designing a dog to be the perfect swimmer, it's doubtful the finished design would look like a Staffy. With broad chests, short legs, short muzzle, and oversized head, Staffies are the anti-swimmer design. Short muzzles work against the Staffy because he needs to keep his head above water so he can breathe. That immediately puts him at a disadvantage because his whole body is now at a downward angle. Barking, as a whole Staffies that are well socialized, exercised, and trained do not bark a lot. The majority of barking that occurs with a Staffy will be due to a lack of one of those three factors. This can vary from dog to dog and variables such as exercise, boredom, training, and general disposition can affect how much they bark. Weather and climate, Staffy don't handle heat very well and need to be monitored on hot days to ensure that they don't overheat. These pooches are best suited for those areas that have pleasant and balmy weather conditions throughout the year. Staffy have a mediocre tolerance to cold and survive in moderately cold regions. Bull Terriers can get cold quite easily because of their short coat and lean build. They are definitely not very well suited for highly chilly and wintry areas. If they can't reduce their body temperature through panting, heat stroke could develop. Friendliness Staffies are known to be fantastic with children of all ages. Thanks to their energetic side, children will find an excellent playmate in this pooch. In the past, their gentle and tolerant personality earned them the title of the nanny dog. Staffy isn't known to be very dog or cat friendly. Some Staffies simply can't live with other animals and need a single pet household. Whilst Staffy puppies can be raised to live with both dogs and cats, they aren't very sociable with other outdoors. Staffy adores human attention, always drawing a smile from those nearby. Whilst some may be naturally protective over their family, they don't possess natural watchdog or guard skills. Adaptability They do perfectly fine when inside apartments and smaller houses, as long as you meet their exercise requirements. As a family-oriented dog, the Staffy makes an ideal companion for families large or small. This breed needs constant training from an early age and an inexperienced owner may get overwhelmed while training or handling these pooches. If left without anything to do for a long time Staffies can get very bored and even destructive. Some can suffer from separation anxiety, but a balanced Staffy can be left alone for up to 8 hours as adults. Guard slash watch dog. Staffies are known to make excellent guard dogs and are very protective of their owners and family members. They are highly protective of small kids as well and therefore they are considered to be one of the best guard dogs a family could have. Drooling. Staffies are not excessive droolers. They do drool in a heavy manner when they are excited or after eating slash drinking something. Health issues. Staffies are prone to canine hip dysplasia. This is a common problem in dogs that can cause debilitating pain. The easiest way to avoid this problem is proper nutrition and care when the dog is a puppy. Staffies may develop canine follicular dysplasia. This is a cosmetic condition that might cause balding or thin out the coat. It doesn't cause any pain or discomfort for the dog, though they may need sunscreen on their bald patch. Persistent hyperplastic primary vitreous is another genetic eye condition that can commonly affect these dogs. Have you had any experience with Staffordshire Bull Terrier? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.